So this is the wetlands bike meet. It's Sunday. It's uh, 16th of July. And this is what you get to see. Lots and lots of folks stood around talking bikes. There are those that would say they talk shite. But... And the Jacks snacks outdoor catering van. Always, but always has a cable. Well, let's carry on round and see what's to say. There's bikes of all description here. Everything that you can think of, doesn't matter what it is. All kinds of people, old, young, middle-aged, with utterly gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bikes. <laughs> so Angela and Claire here at the wetlands on the 16th of July 2017, cracking night. How many people do you reckon are here tonight? Oh, two, two, three hundred maybe. Two, three hundred. And how, how, how long have you been coming? Um, this is only about my fifth time. What do you make of it? I like it, that's why I come. My first time. Your first time? Yeah. Oh, well, what do you make of it then? It's nice. We've been out all day, haven't we? We've yeah. been to a few different stops and then come over here to see what's like. Went to Squires on Wednesday to see what's like. How do the two compare? Um, Squires is slightly busier because you've got the cafes and the pub, but this has still got a fair few numbers compared to tea size meets. Right. And have you spoken to many people? No, nobody yet. No. Well, you're speaking to me. <laughs> We've just arrived. We've been over to Moulton. Moulton? Scarborough, Whitby. All ah, right. And took this whole wet wag. Yes, I've got one of them. <laughs> so, what do you ride? I've got a Hornet 600. Very nice. And you? I've got a Hornet 900. Oh, uh, it's this one upmanship, is it? Sorry, I'll, zo I'll zoom in on, <laughs> zooming in on the Chestal region. Yes. Well, thank you very much for talking to me, you're and uh, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the evening. I hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye -bye. How long has the wetlands been going? Wetlands, it's in its 11th year now. And have you been coming here from the start? Just about, yeah. So, are you one of the founders, or who founded it? Founded by a lad called John Bennett, uh, who passed away. Uh, he founded it, um, and then Jack Snacks were involved in things. Um, I've been coming from about the second year, about 10 years now. That's not bad. And have you ever missed one? Only work. And I work. I missed it. We'll bleep that word. <laughs> so. I'm not going to dwell on any specific one. We'll just walk. And I'll try and find a vantage point from where you can you can see in a panoramic fashion what there is. Come here! Come here! Giving away, Stewie. Come here! We're giving something away for now. <laughs> <laughs> It's free! It's free! It's free. We might have seen a few weeks ago there was a, a confidence building ride uh, organised by the uh, Thundercat Riders. Everyone see that on Facebook? Aye. That's his chat here, uh, Adrian. Now, there's a, a little lad who, who's part of that group who puts himself out all the time, does lots of unfortunately funeral escorts does all sorts of these plum rides and things like that, helps people that he doesn't even know. I caught him helping somebody down the street down there. Stop. Some lass, I stopped, helped. He was there for a couple hours. Yeah, some random, shut up, shut up, number. shut up. <laughs> some random lass was there with a smashed windscreen. I pulled out, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Just helping this lass out, some stranger. That's the type of man he is. He puts himself out for anybody. Now there was a post on Facebook the other week because on the ride out there was some sort of mishap and the young man in question 
We're supposed to be teaching one two fives how to ride in companies. <laughs> on this occasion, <laughs> on this occasion, he taught them how to fall off. <laughs> but he taught them how to get back up as well. So Alistair, who's not here today, is in some foreign country, decided that we should do something to help him along the way, as in some cash. Loads of people have donated money to help this chappy replace his bike or fix his bike or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's a bit payback. It's a lot for the biking community. Some people do nothing for the biking community. They sit behind the keyboards giving it what for. Joey Smith, blah, blah, blah. Right? Put yourselves out for the biking community. The biking community will put themselves out for you. Anyhow, so, do was um, his brother Malcolm collected cash in, this and the other, and we've managed to scrape up about 800 quid. Yeah, How's yeah. that? So, you from the cash. Now this is going for uh, Edward Farley, the handsome one, who <laughs> 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 we'll puts himself out and everybody knows, and he's going to stand up here and cry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'd like to say thanks a lot to everybody. I didn't expect this off for anyone. And I still put a lot in it, didn't you? I know what you This is kind of goes back on the road and goes back to doing what I enjoy doing, helping people out and marshalling everything, you know. I make sure we're fully cop this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 no, it's You can sort them out for us. With that money, get some lessons. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to say thanks, everyone. And if I ask you a question, if you can kind of say the answer so that if people don't hear my question, you know they know what we're talking about. It's, 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 it's how we do it. So if, if I was to say, for instance, how long have you been coming to the wetlands, you would answer by saying, I've been coming to the wetlands for yes. 93 years, that sort of thing. So, Mark, how long have you been coming to the wetlands? Oh, aye, at least that long. <laughs> <laughs> it would be, yeah, uh, oh, aye, yeah, oh, aye, yeah, long time. Long time, how long's a long time? How long's it been going, this? Ten years, ten years. Aye, since it started at least. So you were here at the, at the first one? I believe so. He's still at the coffee. Has he not? Nah. Nah. Has it changed much in that length of time? It's better than what it was. It is better. Oh, aye. Is that because there's more bikes or? More bikes, more sociable people, you know. Everybody gets on, it's good. There seems to be every class of person you can think of. Aye, uh, yeah. From out and out kind of what the Australians would call bikies to what we call bikers and what other folks call people that own motorcycles. I'll got two wheels or three wheels. Well, I'll get on. Oh, you've, had two, you've had three wheels before, Mara. True. 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 I like trikes as well. Excellent. Excellent. So if you, if you had a message to give to somebody that's never been to the wetlands but has a bike, what would you tell them? We're all nuts. Come and, come and meet us. That sounds good enough to me. Thank you very much. Oh, so welcome. how long have you been coming to the wetlands? Down here since more or less started nine, ten years ago. Right. Uh, the first time I've come down here, I've given half a dozen bikes. It's grown over the years and getting to meet a lot of people. And what, what do you what do you reckon would be the big pull for somebody that's never been to the wetlands? Uh, friendly atmosphere. Um, loads of people to talk to. Load of contact with uh, any technical data or information. So you can learn a lot from other bikers down here as well. So looking after the bikes or just riding for the technique and all the floor. So it's a nice little source of information. Yes. Help, yeah. And sociable. Very, very, very. Yes. Have you been round the back of the uh, burger van? I haven't. I've been promised. But nothing yet. Not, nothing yet. That's a shame, isn't it? So, uh, let's see what <laughs> Thank you.
friends everywhere as long as there's not bikers. It's That's about right, yeah. Egg, to fill people in, the bike wouldn't start, would it? No, it had an intermittent electrical problem. And unbeknown to me, because uh, it'd been riding all right all day, and when I got down here, it decided to go uh, and stop. And there wasn't an ounce of life left in the battery. And we filled on various people, uh, assisted with pushing, but pushing a 1500, 1500cc cruiser. Trying to bump start it is not exactly very easy, but everybody bumped in. John Came over with the set of jump leads and they said, um, so you can, the can I be any yeah, help? They could have just about kissed him, but he was too ugly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he came over, got it started. I was given the instructions to get yourself ready to go. And if it starts, just so there you have it. This is the wetlands, very close to what used to be the Washington Wildfowl Centre. It's now the Washington Wetlands Centre. It's signposted from all of the main roads, and this bike meet happens every Sunday and Wednesday from early March through to the end of October. Um, Sunday nights, Wednesday nights, 5:30 stroke, 6 o'clock onwards. Uh, be there, or be an Oblates free ride.